it's lunchtime. Time to go feed the birds and the goats. The goats go running. As soon as they hear this, they go running right to their pen. They know exactly where to get their num nums from. And now the birds. Come on, I'm coming. Oh, come on. Go get in your house. Go get in your house. Go get in your house. Come on. Go get in your house. There's no difference between the two bowls. I just like to, if Mavis wants to eat separately, I like to give her the... I am going to change out their water. Make sure I don't get my chicken scratch wet. Right. There we go. And it's been really cold, so I put some fresh hay down in the back. And as you can see, I enclosed on the lower Portion. Still give them air, but keep them keep the cold out away from them when they lay down at night. Or whatever it is that goats do at night. To keep warm. Fresh water for them. Yeah. Look at all he will eat that string. I want him to eat the hay. But this is definitely a poly string, so I don't want him to eat the poly string. So, isn't this a nice snuggy bed right here? Couldn't you just picture yourself getting all cozy, sitting back, relaxing? <laughs> and it is much, the, there's hardly any breeze in here, which is good because it's been so cold lately. I wanna make sure that we have some heat retention in their their cage. Now they are free uh, free range, free roam, uh, but I do keep them in here for their safety at night. This is there are coyotes, there are wolves, so I do lock them up at night. They come right in here, get their dinner, and then I close it and lock it to keep them safe from any predators. The predators hopefully can't jump the five foot fence, but of course they, I suppose they could dig under if they really wanted and had a hankering for some goat or chickens for that matter, because the chickens are in the same pen. The chickens have their coop down one end and the goats are at the other end. The playground is up on the hill. Peekaboo. The playground is up on the hill and I do throw scratch around daily if you follow me up the hill here but as you can see it's a fa it's a favorite for the chickens to come and get their dirt bath and yes that's how chickens bathe is they give themselves a dust bath they like to find the really soft um, fluffy if you will don't know how else to explain that but the the topsoil that is very easy for them to scratch and lift and then they just bathe themselves in it so i will leave some scratch up here for them as well they like and they will pluck out some of their feathers yeah i'll leave it on the uh see if i can encourage them to 